So in prep for SEMA, um, got lucky to partner again with uh, Adro and Keen, and time for a new hood reveal. So here it is. So there you go, transparent hood, ready for SEMA. No, I'm kidding. Um, actually picking up a new carbon fiber hood uh, made by Adro. Um, first shipment just arrived. So I'm going to be heading down to um, Keen Design uh, headquarters, you could say, here in Corona, California. Uh, unfortunately, I don't own a truck or have access to a large van. So uh, this is how we're picking it up. Going to head down without a hood. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, hopefully I don't get pulled over or something like that but yeah it's gonna be um picking that up in about an hour's time it'll be on the car ready to go picking up a few other things uh doing a few other things today so this might be a long video might be a short video depending on how much i get done yes i know my car needs to get washed and uh time to hit the road so in case anybody ever wonder what happens if you uh drive without a hood yeah no, the car doesn't let you forget that you are indeed driving without a hood. So here we are. Time to uh, pick up some car parts. Wow. That stinger looks familiar. So, car made here in one piece, everything good, no issues whatsoever driving without the hood. Just want to take a quick walk around. Whatever, Lambo. Say hi, Abe. I don't know, man. Christmas came a little bit early for us. For four individuals, you happen to be the first one. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. I was so tempted to rip it open, but I'm a respectful guy, man. I, oh, I, I have to let you do the. Re you didn't even open it? No, bro. I, I only opened the box to show the packaging. Oh, shit. No, dude, that's all you, bro. Because mine's down here and I didn't want to move it, bro. That's not fair. I, I wanted you to have that joy, so yes. I haven't even opened it, bro. Straight up, and this is all I got to. This is it. Oh. I just wanted to show, because you know how there's been like some issues with packaging from other uh, other manufacturers. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to show, really, they did a really good job. And oh, yeah, the most sure. important thing is, guys, this, this this alone right here is 600 bucks. Just this, without shipping, just to build this. So this really differentiates everyone. It was all packed. It was beautiful, bro. Beautiful. But uh, hold on. Let me see. If I yeah. Can so. Get a little there, there was one right there so yeah so essentially uh adder the way they shipped everything instead of just putting it in a container um this was wrapped and there was some more stuff around the sides uh just to keep everything safe wooden crate um just oh, oh, awesome stripping it, it, it was wrapped like a mummy it, like like they 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 overdid it all this wrap it, it, it was crazy they did a great job so let's uh open that up then So, this is kind of the feeling, guys, when um, when I was, like, in elementary school and for Christmas I got, like, an, I don't know, like a Nintendo. I don't even think it, my Nintendo was new then. I got a used Nintendo, but I was happy as hell, and uh, it's kind of that same feeling. Yo, Jose, can you send me this content right here? Because I'm going to include this on my vlog, too. Yo, bro, did I give you the new uh, Keen Design shirt? No, you didn't. Oh, my God. Shame on me. What size are you, bro? Uh, extra large. Extra large? All right, let me get that. Shame on me. I didn't get our sponsoria t-shirt. It's unforgivable. Oh, 
1999. Here's the white one, extra large. Extra large black. Boom. Check out the logo, man. It's Adro. All right. Almost got it. Let's see. Whoo, guys! Damn, man, I I, ju I just got turned on. Oh my God! Look at, guys, look at that. Wow. Wow. Oh my, look at this. Look at that piece. Oh my goodness. Am I biased? Absolutely. But is this the best hood in the game? Absolutely. In my opinion. And it's, it hasn't even gone on Jose's stinger yet. Hey bro, look at that packaging. Look at the, guys, look what Korea did. They added a wooden piece because the most, the, the most vulnerable point is that corner right there, the corner pieces. This is what I'm talking about. This is what this is what you're getting with Adro. They're taking it the next step. Saibon and everybody else needs to take some notes. Wow, look at that. This is so a couple of nice things to point out that people always have questions about. Yeah. Is not just that, but these right here. So these are the, the rain guards? Rain guards. Yeah. So if you live somewhere where you're worried about so snow, rain, some getting in there, uh, these are removable ones. Yeah. Yep. Pop these off or pop them on. So guys, uh, I'm from Oregon, and in Oregon it rains eight months out of the year. Uh, right now I'm in Orange County, so uh, I'm very, very fortunate. But dude, I'm so turned on by this hood right now. Oh my goodness, that thing is sexy. That is sex appeal, guys. And uh, Jose is going to be the first stinger to get this hood on here. He's beating me. You happy or what, bro? Oh, yeah. It's a nice little hood. That's, yeah. Yo, Tong Juan in Korea, thank you very much, bro. Thank you for the support. We'll be repping Adro hardcore, man. Hardcore. So the hood's on. Uh, four quick, easy bolts, super easy. This is the bottom side of those rain guards. They pop off just half turn, quarter turn, they, they come off. So closing this down. And... There you go. It looks amazing. Um, looking at the placement of the vents, they are more or less right above where the turbos are, so that's a really cool feature. And then also one thing to point out is this fitment is, if you look here, even. No big gaps, no raised hood. Fitment's amazing. Even back here, so. There's some hoods that this will dip down below the fender line. This thing lines up perfectly. Fits and looks amazing. Both sides, no panel gap. Fitment's perfect. Gonna be switching up the rear, uh, the top panel piece, to the uh, Adro one as well. It's a one-piece kind of duckbill look instead of a car, instead of the spoiler on the spoiler on the deck lid. Um, and also going to be doing the rear diffuser as well to match the rest of the carbon. Really close up all of those lines. Thank you, A, for the shirts. Back from Adro and uh, some other stuff I picked up. This nice uh, deck lid does have a spoiler integrated, kind of a duckbill mm. style. So I'm going to be replacing the uh, Spreak spoiler and Sabon deck lid I have now for for this one piece unit. Um, I've done this a few times. Uh, the only tools I need: pry tool, 10 millimeter socket, uh, it's a T40, and then just a socket wrench, but. Other than that, um, that is it. 
time to get working. I don't have to be able to do it. I don't have to be able to do it. I do Alright, so next install, um, 
is the rear diffuser carbon so there's one piece there there's a center piece and then the right piece is still wrapped up underneath there um, I wasn't sure if I was going to have time to install it because I thought I was going to have to drill but oh man this is amazing so in the way Adro designed this um, there is two there two there that holds that up to the vehicle so it doesn't have to drill some holes look at that two there and two there there's no need to drill any holes you just take those two bolts off pop those two clips off and uh, remove it to put these on he provides you with brand new hardware bolts and crew and, and nuts they're gonna hold it a little better than than the OEM stuff would um, but this is pretty cool I'll we'll get this installed in no time so here we go so first off for the install and again sorry for the chopper pop that off pop that off with a flathead and the antenna mill here More caution to where my head is. Don't block the view. That's the OEM stuff there. Um, I guess there's a bracket back there, so I don't need those nuts. Let's see how this works. There it goes. It helps if you uh, line it up properly. that one on the back side though I guess I will have to use these nuts let's see that one and reposition yourself here sorry if I block the view I'm sure this would be a lot easier if you're installing on a lift Here we go. Easy as that. Tighten it up to there. I will go back and check these at a later time. Just don't want to crack the carbon, but also don't want to leave it too loose to where it uh, can back itself out. There is a pressure washer on there, so if 
Let's definitely keep some tension on it. That's it. Matter of minutes. I'm gonna go to unwrap the other side, put that on, and then I'll I'll show you guys how the metal goes together. All right, guys. So the other side went on just as easy as the uh, the driver's side. Uh, now it's a matter of mounting up the center. Now the center itself, again, uses you don't have to drill anything. Um, those two bolt holes there line up with these two here and same thing over on that side so just a matter of lining those up again using the hardware provided and bolting it on uh, don't know that I'll be able to get a good image of what's going on here but I'm gonna try sorry if I block the view again doing my best here It's another way. Probably be easier if I had a lift, get a better view of what I'm actually doing, but you work with what you got. Quite work and put the front ends up. Have a little bit better reach on. Tighten that one too much so I get everything lined up properly and then I'll, I'll tighten it all at once. Backside. Again, I'll tighten that up shortly.
Back side, see if I can get it to go in that way. It's going to take a little bit of engineering. So what I did is I just taped the uh, wrench to the nut to the screw here, and that way it won't fall off. Yeah, if this car was on a lift. Here we go. Line that up. That is lining up at the top. Here we go. And then from this side. Nut in place. And Tape up. So I just did this side. Um, you guys saw me struggle through it, just trying to figure out the right way to do it. Um, I don't have a lift, so it's a little bit harder to get down there, but figured out a way. Just got to tighten up that side, get it all lined up, and this will be done. All right, guys, so rear diffuser is in. Kind of hard to see here in the shadow, but here we go. So this vehicle is now 100% full Adro carbon rear diffuser carbon rear uh, duckbill deck wide body obviously and the carbon the, the rear diffuser design the style lines up with the side skirts the front splitter which of course all of it ties in with the body lines 
that are pulled out on the Adro wide body and bam Adro vented hood so that is it it's a long video I was gonna do some more stuff later today but based on how long this is I'm just gonna end it here and uh, probably just make another one for later tonight all right well thanks for watching